Hey, how you doing? Justin back with you for a look at alternate picking for beginners. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit about the kind of the mechanics here. The general idea, though, for your practice this week is just going to be having a go at doing some alternate picking. There's not a lot more purpose than that at this point. We're going to be using it straight away when we get into the next grade of beginner's course material. The, the picking individual strings and alternate picking is going to become a bit more of a deal. So I just want you to kind of get aware of it and have a little bit of a go at alternate picking. Alternate picking meaning playing down and up picks on individual strings. Okay, so using the down motion and the up motion. So let's do most of this in a close up. So when we're picking individual strings, the angle of the pick and the way that it moves around the strings becomes a lot more important than it is for strumming. And this is what I want you to have a little experiment with this week. So we've already talked about the angle of the pick. If the pick is too flat onto the string, it kind of jerks over, particularly if you try and play one string like that, it just catches all the time. It's really, really cumbersome. A little angle of the pick there straight away will help the pick glide over the string. So that's the first thing I want you to try is just go from a flat pick where that's exactly square on the strings. And then I want you to angle the pick against the string and notice that the way the pick just glides over the string a lot easier. You'll probably find you can move it a lot faster and a lot easier with it at an angle. If I go back to it being flat, you can see straight away kind of catches on things so you really want that that little bit of angle there it doesn't want to be like this right that's silly but you know just you know, 20 degrees or something like that is enough to get a nice feeling there note that I'm kind of revealing a bit more pick than I might usually do usually the pick will be a lot further snuggled into my thumb but just so that you can see the pick clearly I'm kind of holding it back a little bit you wouldn't normally want that much pick showing now, the other part of this movement that I think is worth learning, even at this very early beginner stage, is that if you go down and up like this, kind of directly parallel to the strings, it can make string crossing a lot more difficult later on. So I'd recommend that as well as the pick being at an angle, you're also going in with the down pick and out. And when I say in, I mean in toward the guitar and then out, away from the strings. So not exactly, it's kind of more like a, maybe a 45 degree angle. But if you get into this habit of it going in and out, that it's, it's kind of complicated to explain to you guys right now why that's so useful and so important. But if you're gonna practice picking, rather than just practicing it with the angle like that, so you can see now the plane is going this way. I want you to think about it being in and out. The pick is still at an angle. So the exercise for you this week is literally having a go at alternate picking. That's all I want you to do. It's nothing more complicated than that. There's no riff, there's no design, there's no particular amount of picks on each string or anything like that. I just want you to have a go at alternate picking. Try and get the feeling of the angle of the pick. Do try picking it flat feeling how it kind of catches on the string, then angle it. And if you can, try and get used to this in and out motion as well. And just try it on the different strings. See, see what you can do. Now, picking is a really interesting thing because lots of people pick different ways. And I mean like the best of the best players. There's not really one way. The thing I'm trying to show you, I guess the, the proper term is called downward pick slanting. I think it's a phrase coined by a guy called Troy Grady, who runs a website called Cracking the Code, which is like a whole website dedicated to guitar picking. It's quite incredible and definitely worth a look if you've got a bit of spare time between practice sessions to go and have a look. Um, he teaches you how to play like really super fast things, not something that beginner guitar players should be concerned with. But the, this approach of having the pick at an angle and this in and out motion with the pick, I think is a really great thing. It, it, probably the best generally accepted way of, of picking well and picking fast. You, even if you don't want to be a fast guitar player, it's, I think it's the best approach. There are others that might not be bad. And that's kind of, again, part of what I want you to figure out a little bit. Like what feels comfortable for you? Does it, does it help if you anchor your little finger, if the little finger's touching on the guitar? Do you feel like it's more of an up and down thing with the wrist or do you feel like it's a little bit more turny? Because none of the approaches are wrong at this point. I just want you to have a little bit of an experiment with this alternate picking on one string.